Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be taking some rebar that I found laying around this property when we moved in and making it into a trailer stand. I don't like having my trailer tongues sitting on the ground, so I always prop them up with a piece of wood or a cinder block um, or a rim. So, Decided to uh, go ahead and make some trailer stands. Uh, this same trailer stand you can buy at U-Haul uh, for like, I think it's $59. Uh, today I'm just gonna, like I said, wall up some rebar that was laying on the property. Uh, first step I need to do is I need to clean the area where I'll be welding. So I'm gonna get uh, a grinder and clean this area right here on both of them. And then I'll put it in I've got a little little jig set up over here. I guess really not a jig, just a little stand for uh, me to weld it together with. So I'll bring you along and show you what I'm doing. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the grinder and just get down to bare metal in these joints here. Oh, I just got a regular old uh, oh, flapper disc sandpaper on here. I've got it ground down, so now I'm going to go put it out in the stand and we're going to weld it together. All right, as you can see, I've got like a just an old uh, pipe, ditch pipe. Uh, drum to a washer and a rotor, a rotor here. It's not uh, perfect welding but it's uh, welding enough to hold. I need my ground. I am no expert welder. I've only welded probably three or four different times since 82 in high school. So uh, I don't expect perfection here. This is gonna be for practice also. There we go. Well, that should work. I don't know if I'll be able to lift up the boat or that other trailer. Next question is, I don't know if it'll hold it or not, but it's holding it now. Let's try the other trailer. <coughs> nope, I ain't moving that one. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And I appreciate you sticking to the end and uh, thank you for watching. <coughs>